Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I'm going to do a really quick video for um, someone that commented on my video about their soul being broken and damaged and that they wanted to be healed. And I wanted to do a prayer also at the end of this video um, just for those who have wounded souls and um, you, you're finding that it's hard to to bounce back from some type of pain or hurt. I want to do a prayer uh, for you at the end, so please uh, stay tuned. Don't st watch it all the way to the end, okay? Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys something that the Lord actually told me. We were ministering. Um, we used to do a prayer call every Monday at 8 p.m., and we would get, you know, t people that were being attacked by occult members, which is warlocks, demonic spirits. They had generational curses, sickness, all of this stuff. Um, we had a little bit of everyone calling in on Monday nights. And so uh, one of the things that the Lord actually started teaching me, like when we were doing, we did this prayer call for about two years straight. And after ministering with the Lord for a while, when it comes to um, uh, doing our prayer call, the Lord started revealing a little bit at a time to me. A little bit at a, at a time to me about the spiritual realm, about certain types of attacks, um, about removing certain types of things from us because we were learning so much every week. We were just learning something new. The Lord was just giving us something new constantly. So he was just giving us, you know, a little bit at a time because there's so much um, stuff um, when it comes to the things of God. I know, you know, um, we don't understand a lot of the things. We'll read the Bible and say, okay, if it's not in the Bible and then it's not real, but I'll tell you this, there's so many mysteries, there's so many things, uh, secret things of God that he can actually show you that you may not be able to find a scripture to back it up. You know, you may not be able to find a scripture to back it up. And, um, but, you know, like demonic spirits, demonic spirits, there's so many different names of demonic spirits, but the Bible only mentions a few names of demonic spirits it doesn't mention all of them and so but like if you hear let's say if I say um, there's a spirit that's called uh, addiction but the Bible doesn't actually name that specific spirit in the Bible but that doesn't necessarily mean that spirit does not exist because its name is not in the Bible so what I'm trying to say is they're going there's going to be some things that the Lord will reveal that there is a spirit of addiction and it's a stronghold it's a bondage but that word, that name, may not be in the Bible, okay? So the Lord will reveal that. So you have to be able to be open-minded that there are different things that may not be in the Bible that the Lord will tell you. And so with this, uh, what the Lord had revealed to me is that um, trauma and things that we have been through, um, pain that hurts so bad, this stuff, this type of stuff, pain, hurt, uh, fears, those type of things that can get really intense, those things can be stored in our soul. That pain can be stored in our soul. It could actually be stored in our spirit. It can traumatize our spirit. It can be stored there. This is what the Lord told me. That type of pain, that type of hurt can be stored in us. And that's why it's hard for people to get past certain things. If they've been raped, if, if something they've seen someone die or their family, their parents died at a young age when they were a child and that stuff haunts them, it has been stored in them. It has, it's like a, a traumatic type of thing and it's stored. It has to be removed. And I know some people may say, well, find a scripture, you know, to back that up. But it's true. You know, it's true. And a lot of people experience trauma. They experience things. And, and they've never been the same ever since that. It's because it's been stored inside of them. So uh, if you have been dealing with stuff that has happened, something really serious that has happened to you, and you're still struggling with it, I want to pray that everything that has been stored in your soul from the time that you was a child up until this very second, everything that has been stored there, I want to ask God to remove everything that has been stored there. I want Him to remove it completely from your soul. And I'll ask Him to also do the same thing in your spirit, okay? So if you guys want, get relaxed, get somewhere, get really relaxed. Uh, worship the Lord, spend some time with Him while I pray. Um, I want you guys just to be focusing on the Lord because He's going to be removing this stuff from your soul. So you need to get focus so that he can do this okay because he's there with you 
So get relaxed, get focused. Um, if you need to turn on a little bit of worship, pause this video, turn on some worship and just kind of focus on the Lord for a while. Um, and then whenever you have, when he has your total focus on him and then push play. Okay. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, Lord. Father, I ask that you go into the soul of every person that's watching this video. Father, I ask that you go into their souls, Father. Everything that has been stored in their souls. Father, I ask that you remove everything that has been stored in their souls. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you go in every place where things are stored in their soul, Father. The deep parts of their soul, Father. I ask that you go there and remove all of those things, Father. Every part of their soul, Father. All the different parts, Lord, I ask that you go into all the different parts. Every part and remove everything that was stored there. In Jesus' name, Father. Thank you, Father. Heavenly Father, I ask that you go into the person's spirit, Father. Every person that's watching this video, Father. Father, I ask that you... Remove everything that has been stored in their spirit, man, Father. Everything that has been stored in him, Father. I ask that you go in every place, Father. I ask that you remove everything that has been stored and cast it all into the fire, Lord. I ask that it be completely removed and destroyed, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. Everything that has been stored from the time that they were a child, Father, up until this very second. Father, I ask that you remove it all in Jesus' name. And Heavenly Father, I ask that you restore the souls of the people that are watching this video. Father, I ask that you restore their souls. Father, I ask that you make their souls whole. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you make their souls whole. That every part that was wounded and, and messed up, Father, I ask that you make it whole. That you restore it. That it be healed. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you heal their souls. Father, I ask that you restore their souls. Father, I ask that you mend every part of their soul. In Jesus' name, Father. Father, I ask that you restore, Father, restore, Father, restore, restore in Jesus' name, Father. I ask that you restore, Father, I ask that you restore, I ask that you restore their souls, Father, in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I ask that you restore their spirit, man, Father, I ask that you restore their spirit, man, Father. All the pieces of their spirit, man, that has been uh, hurt or wounded, Heavenly Father, I ask that you restore their spirit, man, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. Father, I ask that you make their spirit, man, whole. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you make their spirit man whole in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, every part of their spirit man, Father, I ask that you make it whole and new, Father, in Jesus' name. And Heavenly Father, I ask that you fill their spirit man, Father, I ask that you fill their spirit man with peace in Jesus' name, Father. Father, I ask that you fill their spirit man with peace in Jesus' name. Father, all of your people, Father, I ask that you fill their spirit man with peace. Father, I ask that you... Fill their spirit, man, with peace, Father. I ask that you fill their soul with peace, Father. I ask that you fill their soul with peace. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you fill their soul with peace, Father. In Jesus' name, Father, I ask that you fill their soul with peace. In Jesus' name. Amen, you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to do this quick video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll let you go ahead and hang out with the Lord, and I will see you in the next video. God bless.